Okay, so this is basically standard copper rivet. This is the ones that I use. Uh, I guess Tippy makes Wolverine claws out of them or something. But. <clears throat> basically, you set it where you need it to go. And then it's got the little washers that go over the top. And where did I put my rivet setter? Here it is. <clears throat> rivet setter's got two uh, two different holes. It's got a actual hole for setting it, and then the divoted bit for uh, doing the little kind of mushroom shape that holds it in place. So we got it there. So which one are you using, the mushroom or the hole? I got to use the hole so we can set it. And that one went crooked. That happens sometimes. <clears throat> it was only the second one that that's happened to in this project, which honestly, considering that I'm using a railroad tie as an anvil, not terribly bad. Got to make sure I find a flat surface. Sometimes the leather kind of pushes it over too. <clears throat> So we start over. I knew it would do it would do a cricket one for the video too. Right, that one felt good. Sometimes I get it stuck too. There we go. And then you gotta clip it off real close to the base there, the new base that you've made. You might want to shield your eyes, huh? Think, because that'll just pop right away. Then you use the divoted end to uh, basically smash that down and smooth it around. And it kind of goes nice and even like so. Voila. That's all you got.